Hello, my name is Eric. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about your LP slash carbon monoxide detector, if it, that it is that of style. Some will be just an LP detector. Okay, but basically, these guys are going to be located on the lower, usually near the floor, somewhere in your coach. Uh, but basically, it is always important that you test this guy usually every 9 to 14 days. <clears throat> and that's very important. I'm going to talk to you about that here in just a second. But basically, somewhere on that, on that detector will be a button for you to push. Basically, on this one, it's going to be right here. You're just going to push that button and to perform its test. Okay, that's all there is to it. And then it'll go back to green. Okay, like I said, it's very important every 9 to 14 days. Okay, the reason behind this is I'm going to tell you a story that happened to a friend of mine. Okay, he is still alive. But he was actually loading his camper and... Um, he went to turn on his fridge. When he went to turn on the fridge, he smelt that propane and it was just too late. He actually got blown up in the camper. He went to lunch for the door. He got blown out of the door about 15 feet, okay? He he got second degree burns on 40% of his body. It was the clothes he was wearing to help the, with the burns not being worse and him being blown out of the door. Um, after the fact, when we were actually looking at his camper, um, I, we found the LP detector it was inside the wall and it wasn't even hooked up okay but he is still alive today we actually have lots next to each other but it is just to please be very mindful of propane okay if that guy ever does start going off please take emergency precautions to make sure there isn't a gas leak in your coach basically the first person out the door is going to go and turn off the pro the propane at the canisters okay you want to shut off that main source all right, the next person is trying to get all the children out, animals, even if there's a fishbowl with Steve in there, get him out, okay? While you're doing that, try to open a couple of windows if you can to help vent the camper out. Whatever you do, do not open, you, do not use vent fans, okay? We're not trying to create electrical spark, okay? From there, we will get 50 feet away for about 15 minutes after that. One person's going to come back in the coach. I always recommend the first place you want to check is the stove. Even in my friend's situation, while he was trying to load his fridge, his belt loop or something caught his stove knob and turned it to the on position. Okay? Just always please be mindful of that. Okay? Check the stove. Okay? Nothing's on on the stove. We turn it back on. It starts going off again. Turn it off and go have it serviced. Okay, usually the two main places that propane actually comes inside or where the connection is actually inside the coach is usually your stove and your furnace. Those two ports are usually always hooked up inside the coach. Usually if you have a fridge that is a gas or electric, that connection's on the outside. Same with the water heater, that fitting and connection is on the outside. So usually your two main places are usually going to be stove or furnace. Some rare situations, it could be one of those other lines, but those are going to be your two main sources of inside the coach propane. Uh, that there is just a small description of how to make sure you operate and test your uh, LP slash carbon monoxide detector, um, honestly, regularly. Thank you and have a wonderful day.